If your baby is 3 to 4 months of age and struggling with nighttime sleep and also day nap, your child probably is dealing with 4 months sleep regression. Perhaps you must be thinking that my child was sleeping better before and now they are having continuously night wake ups, having short naps, not able to go to bed properly, not sleeping properly then definitely they are struggling with four months sleep regression. Hi, I'm Dr. Garima, pedodontist and a certified baby sleep consultant. Today, let's talk about four months sleep regression, why it happens, what are the signs and how to deal with it. Let's first see what are the common signs of four months sleep regression. Number one, baby wakes up several times a day and requires rocking, bottle feed or any other assistance to go back to sleep. Baby seems wired with feeding and not able to leave feed. Either they are doing cluster feeding with bottle or breastfeeding and taking much more longer time to go back to bed again. Baby fights for sleep at bedtime and takes very short naps during the day. So, four months sleep regression can come in a variety of ways. It actually depends on child's, on baby's sensitivity also. The kids who are very sensitive will experience four months sleep regression more as compared to other kids. Sensitive kids may face a lot of struggle in going to sleep and in turn leads to a lot of fussiness, crying, cluster feeding and not able to calm themselves properly. As this four month sleep regression is actually connected to baby's natural maturation, there's nothing that can be done to prevent it. This is something that just happened and not related to your parenting or anything else. Second, now let's see that why four month sleep regression actually happens. It's actually called regression, but I will call it a progression. Why? Because kid is growing developmentally at this stage of time. So let me tell you why I call it a progression. At this time, your child must have doubled their birth weight. They may be able to hold their head up and roll from tummy to back. They are now turning into a social butterfly. Now they smile at you, laugh at you, they respond to you whenever you call them. They enjoy playing with you and start to blabble all the great things. And this time they are developing beautifully, just the sleep part is missing. At this stage, babies are not only growing developmentally, and socially but also they are experiencing two major changes in their sleep pattern number one their sleep pattern are becoming more adult like as they grow through one sleep cycle to another second their brains are now more regularly secreting sleep hormone which is melatonin that helps us fall asleep easily like adults. They are more likely to secrete early morning that results in more wake up early and not able to go back to sleep independently. And when they wake up, they need your help like rocking, breastfeeding, bottle feeding or any other association your child must be having. This put we parents at a stake that we are doing something wrong that our kid is not able to sleep properly. But wait, this will not going to last a lot. This is just a phase which will pass very quickly. So here I have few tips to follow that will help you overcome 
four month sleep regression properly. So lastly, let's now talk about how to overcome four month sleep regression. As this still can sleep in any environment, still make sure to keep room as dark as possible. At four months, babies become more aware of their surrounding. So their room should be kept as dark as possible so that the sleep environment is very conducive. White noise not only soothes the baby but also helps to mask the noises like dog bark or kitchen noises or outside noises whatever are coming and disturbing kids sleep white noise machine helps to mask all the voices. Thirdly, create a good, nice bedtime routine. This will help in child understanding that mama is doing this routine on a regularly basis. That means this is my time to go back to sleep. Limit their daytime sleep to only three to four hours so that it does not interfere with their early bedtime routine and time. Feed baby after every two to three hours during the day. As baby is growing and going through tough time, they may need an extra calories throughout the day. Next, keep distractions minimum. Babies at this age get distracted very easily so make sure whenever you are feeding your child or giving them a good bedtime routine their distraction is minimal and the place is quiet and calm for them to sleep better give baby some space and allow them to sleep on their own for the same wait for at least two to three minutes of time when your child has suddenly woke up midnight, wait for two to three minutes of time. Let them self soothe themselves. If they are not able to soothe themselves, then go and intervene. But before that, wait. Don't rush. Lastly, soothe your baby. You can do it by rocking, nursing or bouncing to fall back to sleep just understand that they might get habitual to it so just wait and then intervene to soothe them to go back to sleep so these were the all tips you can follow to overcome four months sleep regression just remember one thing you just can't stop four months sleep regression but surely you can help your child to soothe themselves better and overcome this phase beautifully. I hope it was helpful. Thank you.